Well, we know where we're going, but we don't know where we've been. And we know what we're knowing, but we can't say what we've seen. Bit of an issue, we've just arrived where we're supposed to be staying, and apparently, have no record of our booking. So, it looks like we might be uh, sleeping on the mountain tonight. So we found somewhere 18 miles down the road with the uh, booking, and we, uh, we have somewhere to stay. And it has really nice, fancy carpet, you wouldn't get this in a hostel. Woo! We have a room! Here we are at the foot of old Ben Nevis, uh, ready to get going in a few hours. Just chilling out now, and uh, this is Gareth, a uh, Three Peaks veteran who's organised the trip. So, Gareth, do you want to run through what we're going to be doing over the next 24 hours from uh, 5 p.m.? Yeah, so 5 o'clock we're going to start this mountain. It's an absolute beast, 1,300 metres, aiming to be up and down in under five hours. Last time I did this, it was 4 hours 15, which is asking a lot, but we could do it. I'm pretty sure we can do it. Once we've done this, we'll be straight on the bus down to the Lake District and we'll be doing Scarfell Pike under a thousand metres, hopefully smash that about three in the morning in under under four hours. Which is 3am climb. Yeah, so on the road by seven and then we'll be um, on the way to Snowdon, four and a half hour drive. Snowdon, if we do it all to time, we should give ourselves about five hours to do that, but I reckon we'll... Like snow, I've done Snowden up and down in three hours before, it's giving it some, but we, we could do it in four. So we should, we could, we could, we could do it in 22 hours this. We'll be aiming for 20, 23, but I think, I think we'll smash Anything it. Anything in 24 would be nice. It would be lovely, it would be, that's the aim of the game, mate. We're off! Onwards! Hours just over, and uh, it's just something beautiful. Good time. Get to the waterfall by in a half hour, hopefully. Yeah. And then that gives us another hour to do the bottom half of the mountain. That's it, just gone eight. We need to be down by ten to be the on latest. time. I reckon we could do it by half nine if we give yeah. it a good end. Well, it's all downhill from here. It is. Until it the is. next mountain. Yeah. <laughs> we're down, we're in, we're locked and loaded. And on to the next one. That's a scarf there. at the foot of Scarfell Pike, uh, getting a big wiggle on. We're down to four. Hannah's uh, done her ankle in, which was an injury she had before, and it's just, she was worried about it on this anyway, and she flared back up. So uh, it's really pain, so she can't do it. Gareth's back's locked up at the bottom, so uh, it's quite a bit of pain. But yeah, we're down to four at the minute. And we're gonna get a bit of a wiggle on because there's some uh, traffic, there's an accident on the motorway on the way here put us roughly about an hour behind schedule as well. Woo, 
you feeling, guys? Whoa! Wow. One more to go. One more to go. Yes. situation so we are three hours 20 away from Snowdon uh, and to get there for about 12.34 at the same moment which means we are going to have to get a shift on from there to try and uh, get up in time to do the whole thing in 24 hours so it's going to be doors slide open out and up. We've got Hannah in front here who's uh, repping the tune, she's going to dance on, uh, squatting an injury she didn't climb the uh, Tallest mountain in the UK, smashed it up and down, great time. Smashed the knee as well. Yeah. Yeah. Smashed. We've got Emma, who's our uh, awesome driver. Emma's not really a movie store getaway driver. She's just <laughs> dodging things, dodging traffic jams, she weaving so in and out. <laughs> yeah, she's high on about 12 cups of coffee and Pro Plus. She's coming out with some good, wonderful tidbits. <laughs> and uh, we've got Gareth on the floor here, doing his back in a, a treat. Yeah, back spasm. So uh, not a good day. We're uh, flattening it out, hoping that he might be right for Snowden, but we'll see how it gets on, gets on when we get there. Fingers crossed. And then we've got everybody else just <laughs> cabbaged in the back. <coughs> it's going to be tight. I'm not sure if we're going to make it, but uh, give it a good go. You ready, Chris? Go, go, oh. go, gladiators! Move, move, ready! Move. Contenders! Ready! Let go! Let Just here now at the hospital picking up James who was uh, admitted around 3am last night with severe dehydration and uh, struggling with that. So yeah, morning after the day before and we're at the hospital collecting one of the guys but what an absolute legend. I mean yeah, he trooped through it and he did it within 24 hours and uh, he was in quite a lot of pain and we could see that afterwards but not as much as he was letting on so we're just picking him up now. 
It's an absolute trooper. I don't know if he's just doing it for a good night's sleep, really, and come for a wedding, some food, maybe. But uh, well done, James, for that. And then once we've got him, head home into a pretty hectic, struggling, manic, but awesome adventure for the weekend. We are on the way home now, and uh, here's Gareth, organised the whole thing. So Gareth, do you want to give us a little uh, rundown of, of the trip? How long have you got? <laughs> pretty epic, pretty dramatic, James. <laughs> we had a pretty, pretty amazing weekend, to be fair. We had one, two, three, three people completed in time, one person slightly over, and two people, um, one and one and two thirds of the mountain. So, injuries, drama, uh, James was poorly on the night, and ended up in hospital. <laughs> A bit of dehydration. Yeah, so. dehydration really Powered through and still made it in the 24 hours with all that yeah. going on though. Yeah, it was, uh, it's been epic. <laughs> I think we've all learned quite a lot about each other. <laughs> yeah. But the friendships have been formed and strengthened and bonds will never be broken. <laughs> bonds made on the mountain. Well done everybody, give us a wave. Never made a lot of money, didn't have much, but we're high on life and rich in love.